La 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 doing really adult office stuff. Oh, hello there. How did you get into my house? Well, good evening. Ladies, lasses and lasses, and welcome to a glorious video about... Ah, sips tea. That's not the smell of the tea, is it? That's the smell of you. My god, you smell amazing. So anyway, this subreddit is about the most trendy, most voluptuous memes that you can find online. And I am in love. Enjoy. Mwah. In love with you? Oh, maybe. Stick around in the video and you'll find out. <laughs> Am I desperate? Yeah, I'm desperate. Masculine theory. I can't believe I need to say this. You're not going to find your wife in any of these places. Nightclubs, bars, Tinder. She's going to be here. Libraries, gyms, coffee shops. I don't know, man. I found your wife on Tinder. <laughs> Oh hell yeah! It is correction. You're not gonna find your wife there. You're gonna find other people's wives there. Oh yes, indeed. Cross couple dating. That's a new idea for a cafe, isn't it? Uh, you would have to have people sign like <laughs> not competing agreements. <laughs> yes. The Odomans were created to solve a fake problem and thrived thanks to the patriarchy. Uh, what? Come to one of the boys' cabins at the youth camp, and you'll delete this. Well, you see, that's because men are smelly and women never smell. Did you know that women fart glitter and, and rainbows? No, wait, that's the gays. Uh, no, use deodorant. It's good stuff. Each time you press is 0 0.5 grams. Okay. Multiple, how much that looks very sus. Well, get it in this thing, look. It's been nine years since Elon Musk had this photo permanently removed from the internet forever. Liber... Uh, uh, ta -ta -er. Li liberty! Oh, I can read! Look at that picture! And now it's forever immortalized in this glorious video. Can you imagine in a thousand years when they dig up stuff from the past? You know, like when we find the pyramids and we're like, Oh my god, I wonder what this ancient cool structure is for. And they, they have that in a thousand years, but it's just like... Oh, this was the studio of, of a YouTuber. <laughs> wow. Like, the different ages through humanity have different levels of, I don't know, Im impressiveness? Impressivity? That's a lot of letters that I can't read and that makes me angry. The text on bag reads as, This text has no other purpose than to terrify those who are afraid of the Arabic language. <laughs> I love trolling like this, it's so funny to me. My channel went viral, um, which was very scary for me. I consider myself a bit of a... How to shave your face, Dad, how do I? I was... <gasps> Filling a void left in their life. Maybe their dad. This is so wholesome. Left. Holy shite. My name's Rob Kenny, and I've been called the internet's dad. Hey kids. Oh. How are you today? I thought the channel was gonna help 30 or 40 people. How to tie a tie, how to change. Oh, I need that. <laughs> I'm trying to casually plunge the toilet. Hell yeah. Edify. You need to see how this is done. I love you. I'm proud of you. God bless you. This, wow. This is so wholesome, it blows my mind. And you know, for me, it's like, I, I think I recognize this person that came up at some point when I was looking for a tie-tying tutorial, because I suck at that, believe it or not. But this is so incredibly sweet. When we complain about, like, YouTube is not as good nowadays and it's corporate sellout stuff, we forget that... Uh, there really are nuggets in in the in the massive mess of things. Damn, this almost, almost made me cry. Holy crap, I hope there are not more videos like this. I'm just gonna have a crying video here, Jesus. Out for my B-day and my daughter's boyfriend order a strawberry margarita. What do I say? Look at that boy enjoying a strawberry margarita. My dude, delicious nose, no masculinity. If I were that kid, I would drink the frick out of that and then raw dog your daughter. Oh, I hate that though. Is that like a conspiracy? Has anyone noticed that? That with masculinity and drinks, it's like, you know, the, the good sh That's like, oh, this pinkish fruit is amazing like lemonade with tons of fresh fruit in it. Oh, that's girly, you can't drink that. Even though it has a parasol that everyone loves. And the manly stuff is like, oh, here is, here is whiskey mixed with tar that smells like smoke and, and tastes like asphalt. Oh yeah, that's manly because it's gross. What? When people say that to me, my response is usually that, you know, oh yeah, but it's for it's for your sake because I'm so incredibly masculine that I have to spare a little bit just to just to let everyone else catch up. Or just drink what you like. <laughs> Who gives a shite? Alright, out with the girl testing Bruce. Alright, let's just measure the sis. Oh my good. Yeah, this one will fit you. Thanks. 
If that if they actually do that accurately, that's actually quite impressive. Not gonna lie. Uh, he's a keeper. The girl next to me in class offered me a sip of her drink because I mentioned that I was thirsty. I was not expecting to take a sip of vodka cranberry at 9 a.m., y'all. Woo! It's gonna be a good lecture. Back in university, we had a rule that beer after 11 counts as evening. Did we have problems? Probably. Thank you for calling. Please hold a minute. Do, 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 do. This music freaking sucks. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. But to be honest, though, yeah, like waiting music is the worst. I had to call, I think it was an airline support recently to like have questions about tickets and emails and blah, blah, blah. And they had this waiting line music. And the reception was so freaking garbage that you couldn't even hear the music. It was like gargled. It could have been someone standing in their bathroom gargling. That was basically the sound like... <laughs> It, why do you bo just leave it silent for f God pay for the naughties? Yeah, you can pay for naughties uh, 60 euros an hour. Uh, it's uh, you to me. Oh uh, Sorry, I charge 60 an hour. How much do you charge? <laughs> 50. Okay, then you only pay me 10 speech 100 Yeah <laughs> You see, if everyone is selling the naughties, we can just do it for free. <gasps> what a life hack. It's almost like it, it, it didn't exist at all. <laughs> this looks like a Tinder chat. Man, Tinder has really gone downhill and it wasn't particularly good to begin with. Okay, here's a video of... Oh my god, is that Tinder? I was just talking shit about Tinder. Oh, everything is... Oh, ow. ow. Uh, come on, he, he was... He, 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 uh, come on, no. Give him a chat! Oh my god! <laughs> it just turns around with a death stare. This explains why Tinder never works for anyone, right? Oh my god. I actually had a a, a female, a, a real female friend once, uh, many, many years ago when I was still in my youth. And she explained to me that she hated Tinder because most of the time she would, she would swipe left and, you know, the profiles were weird and stuff that came up. And every time she decided to swipe right, it was a yes. Uh, which which melted feel like I don't know it kind of reduced the whole feeling of the game or or the tension or the excitement whatever you want to call it because she knew that as soon as she swiped right it was always going to be a yes because every guy just spam swiped right I suppose this is the issue when the demographic is so incredibly skewed like 80 percent are men on Tinder so you know the girls are going to be like completely spammed to crap and the men never get any matches so <laughs> yay <laughs> modern dating woo. Just a casual day on the beach here, and oh, it's a lady's behind. Oh my god, husband, don't look at that. Whew. He's been practicing reflexes. My god, you know that everyone has this instinct that if something comes flying to your face, like, you know, wee, you instantly close your eyes faster than you can kind of react in your brain because it's nervous stuff close to your eyes, and you know, it's, it's an instinct and reflex. This is basically that. This has happened so many times that he has actually learned an instinct. Oh, fascinating. Just check in for more click biomology lessons. Me, seeing I have a text from my grandma. Okay. You don't look... I'm practicing. Holy sh... Grandma! Holy sh... Whoa! Is this... <laughs> this is something you casually text your grandchild? <laughs> this is just traumatizing! Grandma! Jesus Christ! Well, I'm just glad she wasn't... Dead serious. <laughs> Well, she's just laying it on. Ah. Uh, oh my god, I'm really just coughing up them jokes. Oh my god, that was a knee slapper. Oh my god, this joke is so funny. I am literally dead. You clicked on this video voluntarily. Blame yourself. Jesus Christ. You ever been catfished? <laughs> ah. I think it's been catfished before. See? I think most people have been catfished have at some point. Called filters. Once they got that, I feel like... I'm oh, he's going there. Oh, dear. Like, <laughs> All right, let's see where this is going. Right now, hold on. Excuse me. Can I talk to you for a second? Just real quick. Nice right. to meet you. Can I see your Instagram profile real quick? Just real quick. Sure thing. All right. This gives me slightly, like, staged vibes, but still, let's see where it's going. <laughs> Show the camera real quick. I just want... All right, that's, a, that's enough. Thank you. Paul. No problem. Right. <laughs> See? That was a catfish. I that was a catfish. I go lie. It would have been so funny if it wasn't even her Instagram. She just like 
oh damn, a random dude in the street is asking to see my gram with my name and stuff on it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show a random Instagram. <laughs> it would be so funny if that was actually the case. <laughs> but I think it's showing something so fascinating. This, I, I think, you know, there are tens of thousands of rant videos on YouTube about it. But like the beauty standards in online culture and stuff and how it's just been absolutely exploded. It's kind of bonkers, and then you have half the buff dudes doing steroids and nobody's talking about it, and everyone is using filters and the best angles. Like, even for these videos, I don't consider myself to be, like, particularly, you know, uh, how should I put it? I don't care that much about my appearance online. But even for this, you know, I've fixed my hair, I'm wearing my beautiful headphones, hiding my ears and imperfections. Um, I have a little bit of makeup under my eyes because I want to hide my my little, little dark circles and stuff like that that shows that I never leave the house. You know, so even me, who's just a casual YouTube commentator, even, even I fall into this kind of stuff. So, you know, what you're seeing now, I have fancy studio lights and no shadows are on my face, a little bit of makeup, freshly showered, fixed my hair. You know, even this is, like, as good as I possibly look on a day. You know, this is the best light you're ever going to see me in, apart from when I Photoshop myself for <laughs> for really close-up thumbnails, when, when I have, like, pimples and stuff, like, oh, no, no, go gone, ah. <laughs> But it creates an image, and I think we all feel insecure about that to some extent, because the only things you see online are the highlights. Like, you know, when I look at my own videos, I, I, I literally had that moment a, a couple of days ago. I looked at one of my own videos from like a year or two ago, and I'm like, damn, I look young and fresh. What happened? And then I remember, oh, yeah, well, it's really generous lightning and, and everything is perfect. And OK, OK, fair enough. Click. You don't have to be insecure about yourself. Jesus Christ. The punishment for stealing 5,000 in Canada is 2k fine? <laughs> Follow for more financial advice? I suppose you have to be in Canada first, though. God damn, can I steal 5,000 worth of maple syrup and only give back two? <sighs> the life hacks. It's a bit of a sticky situation. <laughs> oh, oh, genuine laughter. Uh, is my boyfriend broken? Why did you leave WrestleMania on for the cats? They need to learn to protect us. Duh. You know, you pay for them, you feed them, you literally pick up their poo. At least, at least they can act like, you know, make makeshift guard dogs, right? <sighs> Cats, man. Yeah! Off! Yeah! Yeah! Do the rock! Do it! Wait, wait, what? Hold on, guys, we got something going on right there. That is so wholesome. Can we get EMETs in there? Oh my god, someone is having like trouble in the crowds. Well, it's hard to tell exactly what it is, but some emergency or someone is being squished or something like that. And they just stop the concert. This is literally, no, don't judge a book by its cover. That is so beautiful. You have this like hardcore rockers looking like freaking skeleton demons. And it's like, no, no, hold, hold on. Someone is feeling a bit iffy. This, this, calm down, everyone. Jeez. Here's a bun and a little pillow. Why am I laughing so hard? The freaking hands. All right, so we put the little magic thing over the rubit. And then we bring in the little one, the dippity plunk. And then uh, what happens? Well, you wouldn't believe it, but magic is real. After all, at least on the internet. <laughs> Bunny is dead. I mean, gone. Woo! Yay! Every <laughs> <laughs> Even though I read the comment first, I was not expecting the hands. Oh my god. That was hands up a really good joke, or maybe, maybe hands... Up? Hands down. What did I say first? Anyway, directions are hard. Rachel and I are no longer dating. Mike, that's a horrible way of telling people we're married. Oh, no, oh my god. He's already got the dad jokes going. Are you sure you're not prego? But also, that's beautiful. Oh my god, everyone's gonna assume you, you broke up. But in reality, it's just the next step of, of, of the relationship. Oh. Uh, why is there a raccoon eating peanut butter on my bus? Mind your own freaking business! Raccoon eating peanut butter on the bus. It's a very specific username, but I'm kind of down. In my next life, if I do everything right and my karma is high, maybe I can be a raccoon that just indefinitely sits on a bus eating, eat, eating, uh, what, what was it, freaking peanut butter. <sighs> That's just everything good about life. Boys make three friends at 15 and decide that's enough socializing for their whole life. I mean, yes, I feel very targeted by this, um, but, but also in my defense, I've never had like one of those Friend breakups. The frick is the- God! Yes. So, so, yeah, you know, that's, that's the thing. We meet at when we're five. We don't mentally develop past that point, so we can't even comprehend what drama is. And there you go. Easy life, happy life, or whatever the saying goes. That's not the saying, is it at all? <laughs> I give up, Shaggy. Oh, damn. Psych! <laughs> Whoa! Spider-Man 5, 5, 17, or whatever, is oh, looking lit. <gasps> what? 
<clears throat> that would have been embarrassing. Huh. Yeah. How did... What? Woo. Shag, you look out! <laughs> I'm not done with you. <clears throat> what is... What is this game? I need to play this! This must be like freaking VRG mod or something. This... Oh my god, it's so good! I need to do this on stream, that's so good! <laughs> A President Biden! As a nation, we must ask, when in God's name will we stand up to the gun lobby? When in God's name will we do what needs to be done? I am sick and tired of it. We have to act. Biden is always tweeting shite like, Who the heck is the president? I would like to have a word with him. <laughs> yeah, this guy... <laughs> Man, Twitter. Ah, showing, showing the best of humanity, doesn't it? Isn't Twitter that kind of thing that is such a, like a stinky swamp? that just produces complete trash, but everyone is somehow addicted to it, and you feel like you can never leave because you're scared of missing stuff. It's just hard. Never join Twitter in the first place. It's horrible. This may sound oddly specific, but does anyone have images of Sinoic animals with their mouths open like this one? This is a furry art, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> now I just want to Photoshop microphone so he looks at her singing. Oh, yes. Woo. This is why we do it. Oh, this is inspirational. Oh, this gives me Ice Age vibes, but like, yes. <laughs> That's not how the song goes, is it? <laughs> the art of music existed long before humanoid beings. We found fossils of a bunch of mammoths having a karaoke party. This is my Tinder profile. I've had it for a year. 23 men have contacted me to say I'm incorrect about toilet paper. Well, obviously, yeah, that is... Oh my god, what... Do you, do you try to get dates with this profile? Yuck! You might say we are not uh, rolling in the right direction there, honey. I don't think this is gonna work. Why, Pretend why, you're why having you, snacks. You eat? <laughs> why are you why are you having phone? I'm just having veggie soup. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What are you eating? I'm having water. I'm having some water. Don't trick me! <laughs> <laughs> This is so cruel. I love this. Yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just had an egg. That's it? Yeah. You hungry? No. <laughs> huh? What's up? What? <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? What, what are you eating? I have some just, eggs. Uh, just hard boiled eggs? Yeah. Wait, what? You want some? You want some eggs? No. Nah. Hmm. What? What's up? I'll just have an orange. You want some? And um, that's it? Are you taking for, for the orange? Do you want, do you want an orange? <laughs> this couple goes right here. If you don't relentlessly trick your partner into thinking you're having a snack so they come running desperately for some crunchies, you're not doing it right. Phone flipped over means either you're hiding something or cheating. Look at that. No, I flipped my phone over to let you insecure folks know I'm focused on you. Well, you can't win with insecure folks. There's always something wrong. Oh, it's Tinder again! Okay, left, swipe, left, okay, uh, all right, okay, right, swipe, here we go, here we go, okay, bro, yeah, you have a crowd here. <gasps> oh, it's broken. Oh, right. okay, yes. Woo! Woo! Oh, yes, oh, yes, just men being dudes. Heck yeah! Oh my god, isn't that beautiful? Hey, baby, I had an entire crowd cheering me on. Man, this would be some really, like, uh, weird Twitch stream. Is there gonna be, like, a Twitch category for Tinder dating soon? Where you just, like, swipe live on stream? Don't click, click, don't give them ideas, Jesus Christ. When you ask your dog what the frick they're eating and they just start chewing faster. <laughs> give me the Fido? Fido? Is that the cable? Is, is that the iPhone cable? I wish I could tag my dog so they could see this meme right now. I want to share memes with my dog, too. If I had a dog. My mom was me for Halloween. Uh, which one's your mom? That is so good. Let's see if we can figure it out together. I think it's the left one, because statistically the son would be slightly taller than the mom. And also the beard and stuff on the left one looks more fake than the one on the right one. The right one looks like typical like young dude beard that's a little bit all over the place. So I would go with the left one and uh, I think I'm correct. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let's figure out who's the mom. <laughs> that's an interesting game show. Oh, Pete's all messed up. <laughs> Bro. We have a new one coming f soon. Sorry. New driver. 
Ah, it's okay. Just thought you should know. No need for another. I have to. No, no, please. It's okay. This won't stop me ordering for you in the future. Great pizza and always great service. No worries. We make the person who is responsible fix it. It's the best. Draining. We can do. Much better than just telling them. They will remember not to do it again if they have to deliver it again. Maybe keep as leftover? I feel badly. Just tell him he got lucky with a forgiving customer who holds him harmless. He was very nice. Okay, we will just make him stand in a corner. <laughs> okay, but I want a photo of that. All right, here it is. Enjoy. Poor guy, rough night. The pizza still tasted great. <laughs> This is sort of wholesome. Like, it gives me the vibe that everyone is just in on it having fun. That's 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 the good vibe. This is a good good work vibe. Jerry, <gasps> it's a duck! Just, they have a duck! Yes, Jerry, give her space. Yeah, she wants to <gasps> swim, Jerry. Kill her, Jerry yes! Go! Now she's in! There can be only one! There can be only one love for me! Oh, yes! Oh, devastation and death! <sighs> Man, I want a duck. So I can, I can, I can train them into attacking my loved ones. <sighs> Man, that would be so beautiful, wouldn't it? Without ducks, the future is looking very bleak. Instead of bleak, that was that was like fifty percent pun. I I'm proud of myself. Let's start a thread of just random advice. No specific topic, just great advice. It's not a bargain if you don't want it. It's not a bargain if you weren't going to buy it anyway. My ex struggled intensely to never freaking realize this at all. All the overdraft fees were great. If it takes five minutes or less to do it, do it immediately. That is so good for house chores and stuff. Oh my god, the anti-procrastinator's dream. You've had five shots of tequila, stop! Well, may maybe not- uh, Context! Alligators can close their mouths with insane insane strength, but cannot open them very well. Clamp that bitch shut and it's over! How to tame your very own alligator, oh my god, the next step after a duck. Buy a plunger before you need a plunger. It's my go-to housewarming gift. I've gotten some raised eyebrows, but I always counter with, imagine not having a plunger. Moved into my own place almost a year ago. I have one bathroom, but two plungers. My friends really care. I mean, I suppose if the first plunger gets stuck, or you know, when the handle falls off, you really need the second one. So, so it's good, right? And you might need one for the sink and one for the toilet. That's also a thing, so so it, it's fine. Look at this guy acting like he's never had a double plunger situation. What the frick do you do when the first plunger gets quicksanded and the handle snaps? Quicksanded? Is that what it's called? <laughs> All right. Other times I do will wield like Legolas and drop a spinning elbow to really get the heartiest bastards moving along. My point is two plungers is minimum. Really? In 2022? Man, my afternoon was shiny until I read this post. Thanks for the lol. I'm just picturing like, like, you know, those really, you know, when you download a fancy mod for Skyrim with like fancy dual wield animations, I'm just picturing that will be two plungers. That, that, that image just makes my day. Delete your Facebook. Did this a little over three years ago. Zero regrets and an absolute joy. You're not missing out on anything of importance. No dealing with everyone's drama. Not having to attend events I never wanted to go because people only know how to send invites through Facebook now. That's true. I mean, I deleted not the account. I only use Facebook for Messenger because I have a bunch of old friends there. But I don't think I ever visit Facebook itself anymore. It's so nice. Because, damn, I, I still remember, like, the venting trends on Facebook. Now I suppose everyone has just moved to Twitter, which is equally insufferable, but... Ah, yeah, yeah, the less social media sites, the better. It's just su such a time sink and you don't remember anything. Live to the east of where you work, if you can. That way, driving to work in the morning, the sun is behind you. And driving home, the sun is also behind you. That is, that is so smart! Oh my god! As someone who lives to the west of where they work, it's a total bish! Oh, <laughs> every single morning? Oh no! For romance and friendships, the pain of honesty with your partner after you mess up is almost always less than the pain of them finding out on their own. Be honest and humble, and ask forgiveness. This is a mistake people have to make on their own to understand. I think so too. A lot of mistakes in life. Sadly, there is this saying, you know, learn from other people's mistake is like the cheapest way to learn, so to say, or the most efficient way. But if you don't have, the, you know, the emotional connection to it, you don't really register it as something important, even though you realize factually that it might be important. Humans are weird. When you're dreaming and you see a toilet, don't use it! Guys, there is nothing about your pee-pee that will make a woman want you. But there might be something about you that will make her want your pee-pee. Stop sending unsolicited pee-pee pics. Sun Tzu, the art of pee, pee That's a really smart way of putting it, though. I think it goes in, in most directions. I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but oversharing too fast in any kind of relationship is is usually kind of a turn-off. It's, 
it's overwhelming to say the least, and in some cases even creepy. It's uh, it's better to ease into and let someone get to know you at the right pace. Um, yippity boobity. Don't be afraid to cut off your toxic group of friends. It's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Or toxic family as well. Yeah, if someone is just ruining your life, it doesn't matter who they are. It's You're gonna have a better life without them. It's it's actually true. Not not going to extremes, you know, everyone has arguments or disagreements and that kind of stuff, you know, that's normal. But, but when it's consistent toxicity and tearing you down, yeah, then it might be time to move on. Always wash your hands after cutting jalapenos, especially before going to the bathroom. The way these comments are going, there's a whole bunch of r slash I have sex up in here. <laughs> If everyone around is an a-hole, I am probably the a-hole. Know yourself before you get into romantic relationships. If you're having trouble deciding on a thing with two choices, flip a coin and see how the outcome makes you feel. Do it for everything. Can't decide whether to have pizza or tacos? Flip a coin. Still undecided? Pretend the flip came the other way. You'll likely have an opinion. Thinking about moving across the country for a job or not? Flip. In love with two people? Flip that coin. Seriously. The important part is that you're not beholden to whatever comes up, but it's a really good way to see how making one of the choices would make you feel. That's actually a pretty good way of tricking yourself into, into actually deciding which option, especially if they're exclusive options, is worth more. Because usually it's very rare in life that everything is exactly 50-50. And kind of forcing yourself to actually for real considering an option might make you consider what you're missing out on. Kind of, kind of a neat tip. I, I want to try that sometime. Why did you park here? Park here? My boyfriend... This is, you're parked next to my boyfriend's car. It's Wait. a parking lot. I can park next to anybody I want. You're parked next to my boyfriend, though. Can nobody park in a parking lot next to your boyfriend's Get car? Get out of my spot. This isn't... Don't park next to my boyfriend. Are you crazy? What? Are you insecure? Are you crazy? I know you not just say that to me. Are you okay? Are you? <laughs> I would like to see what the boyfriend's reaction to this would be. Like, like, are, are both the people in the couple completely nuts together? Or will the boyfriend be like, why is my girlfriend going around, like, verbally attacking people for parking next to my car? That doesn't seem like the right priority of, like, life issues you should be tackling. What the hell? Working with an octopus is like... <gasps> Is coming out. Oh my god. Hey, hey. <gasps> Play with me. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. Oh, not now. I am busy. <gasps> Play with me. Oh, it's so cute. Look. Oh, it wants to frolic. It wants to frolic. Oh my god. <gasps> Play with the frolicky creature, please. Can we at least hold hands? Oh, it's holding hands. Oh. Come closer. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I want... Now I want an octopus pet as well. Do octopuses get along well with ducks? Does anyone know? Does anyone have both a duck and an octopus? Do they, do they play well together? Maybe they do. Both like water, right? Me, watching Harry Potter. That's absurd! They would never keep the school open with a giant monster snake in the basement. Me, 2020. Okay, second thought. <laughs> <sighs> The 80s on Netflix versus the 80s IRL. Yay, quirky clothes and collars. Yay, smoking everywhere. Yeah, it's wild to me when I hear stories from, like, parents and stuff, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, smoking used to be allowed on freaking airplanes and buses. Are you insane? Simba, when a rat and pig makes him perform a musical for 20 minutes after his father's death. <laughs> It's the same thing, like, with when Simba has to pretend to be sad, but I'm gonna soon be king, or however the fucking lyric goes. And <laughs> just, when you have to pretend to be sad when your king, when your kid, father king dies, it's like all sussy. It's like, I can't wait to be king. I mean, boo-hoo. Oh, I'm so sad. Simba, um, I see you. You're a sussy creature. Men will literally use your beauty products in the shower and not even know what it's for. Leave my dark spot exfoliating scrub alone. No, it's going on my balls. That is so true. I also love the marketing towards men versus women. It's absolutely amazing. Men, here is a soap. Can also use that as a shampoo, body wash. Also doubles off of toothpaste. It also has oregano in it, so you can use it in your cooking. 15 in one body scrub. And for women, it's like, this thing has essential oils, 15 different kinds of herbs. It's really good invigorating skin. Also, blah, blah, blah. Hyper specific BS versus hyper multi purpose BS. It's gorgeous, isn't it? When you travel back in time and meet your younger self. Damn, that's a jam. I love this. <gasps> that is so good. Oh, yes. 
I want this to be me when I'm old. Please, universe, make this be me when I'm old. I so want to be this instead of, like, old and bitter, which is probably where I'm turning to. Oh my god. <gasps> that is amazing! Did he... Does he even need the cane? Did he only bring the cane out so he can do that dance move? What an absolute legend. Yeah, I just combined vertical and horizontal stripes. I, I honestly thought those were your legs. Oh, I see. The white thing is a stripe. Yeah, it looked very weird first. It's just a stripe. The whole, the whole like, black thing is the leg. Ah. Yeah, that looks very strange on, on, on like, uh, first impression. What? What? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> God. What is with the background noise? Why does it sound like someone is dying? That makes me so uneasy, though. It makes me so uneasy. Why does this make me so uneasy? Oh, dear. No. Why? Please, ducks. <gasps> One might see ducks. a duck walking away like this and think, that duck doesn't want to get picked Aww. up. But don't be mistaken. <gasps> Read the signals. Oh, the tail! That duck wants to get picked up. Yes, it's a happy duck. Part five. Aww. Consent. This is the part where you don't want to seem desperate. Mm -hmm. Relax. Play it cool. It's all about nonverbal communication. Yeah, think of it like Subtle Tinder. Subtle glances from across oh. the room will send the right message and allow the duck to feel comfortable to approach you first. Oh. And first, impressions are very important, so remember to smile. After introducing yourself and a bit of small talk, reach out and tickle the duck's belly. Aww, if it wiggles its tail, so oh. that is a clear signal of duck consent. Oh, it's so cute. Reposition yourself to the side of the duck, reach out, and nestle it in your armpit Aww, fashionably, that's so like cute. a handbag. You may now walk with confidence, knowing you are now holding a duck. <gasps> duck has been added to your inventory! Oh my god, that's so good. Have you thought about that? Inventory is like a word that's never used IRL, except when it comes to like... I don't know, supply chain management and, and like, storage things, you know? <laughs> inventory is never used. Oh, bro, my phone is about to die. Do you happen to have a charger in your inventory? Why don't we use that? That will be amazing. Also, ducks. I so want a duck. You know, if, if I ever get tired of doing this thing that I'm doing now, I'm just going to move out to the countryside and breed ducks and puppies for the rest of my life, and I'll be so happy about it, and I wouldn't give a shite about the world. That's why you're still a virgin, bruh. I have a wife and daughter. You have an NFT profile. The only way a woman is going to touch you is with a taser. <laughs> oh, oh my god, you can really see the sparks flying though. Oh. Man, I am so funny. I'm so glad NFTs are going downhill. Jesus Christ, it was pretty uh, nuts for a while. I even had companies reach out to me to, to mint NFTs. They were like, hey there, click. Do you want to mint 8,000 NFTs? with you and your channel mascots. And I'm like, no. <laughs> the, the wildest thing is that I can see why so many people have roped into it. I don't know how. It's probably a combination of money laundering and a little bit of weird cash flows, but the amount of money they offered was absolutely nuts. And that was only for signing. I can see why people got sucked up into it. Because, oh my god. Men should do the splooshies at least 21 times per month to reduce the risk of developing prostate cancer. It's June 23rd and I'm already done with August. Well, may maybe it's like the other... Maybe... You go, bro. You go. When the architect of your house is your best friend. Oh. I see. Okay, so you slip out the other... Okay. How do they market this door? What what's the what's the name on it when you look it up and you wanna you wanna purchase it? Because that, that can't be a very appropriate name. She brings her kittens to the dog when she needs a little break. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. They get along just fine. Oh, the puppy's so confused. Forceful babysitting and the puppy's too polite to say no. Oh, that is adorable though. What a peaceful household. Me, I'll do it at four. Time, 405. <laughs> Oh, looks like I gotta wait until five now. <laughs> and then you forget it one minute after five. Oh, looks like I gotta wait until six. What a shame. Rat. Me explain the entire Is plot this? of Ratatouille on LSD. The rats are all like this. The rat goes like this. <laughs> so the rat's like this. The normal rat is like this. That's the normal rat. Like this. Like this. <laughs> it sniffs. It's like this for quite a while. It's like uh -huh. this. And then maybe he sniffs. <laughs> That's me trying to explain what I do for a living on YouTube. Well, I go like this. Ha! Ah, and, and then, and, the, uh, and, the, and then there's ad revenue. <laughs> oh man, that hurts. I want to make love. Won't you be late for work? 
How come you're 50 seconds late? It's called efficiency, boss. <laughs> Public service announcement for men. Boxers are not shorts, you cannot wear them outside. Don't tell us what to wear, teach the girls not to stare. I know, right? Irresistible. It's like when I wear my sandals with white socks. People are like, uh, I'm staring, why are you wearing it? My eyes are up here. I know my sandals with socks are irresistible, but please contain yourself. God. Hey, professor, I'm having a hard time with tonight's homework. Uh, send a pic and I'll help you. Meh. Of the homework. Ah, th that's so many different kinds of pain in like one single picture. Ah. My wife, what do you want for dinner? Me. Okay, let's see. Lasagna with daddies. Woo! It's good, nutritious value for the whole family. <gasps> it's Rassi's turtle again. Oh my god, look at that turtle. Someone explained to me in the comments in one of the last videos that it's trying to mate. It's not actually, but it's silence, it's a meme. <gasps> it's perfectly disguised. This is... This is groundbreaking science. No, turtle. T turtle? We talked about this many times. Turtle! No, turtle! No, turtle! No! Ah, oh, there we go. Mmm. Inconspicuous. Nothing to see here. If we just disguise, then the rest is turtle. It's not gonna do anything. <laughs> How to solve racism. When people are born, we just artificially make everyone's skin color the same. Yeah, maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's the future. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, you beautiful beans. I do hope you enjoyed your stay here and everything like that. And have a wonderful rest of your day because you're amazing. You deserve it. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.